and welcome to my channel for those of you who are new my name is Kristen and today I'm be doing some Dollar Tree maybe a little bit of trash treasure I honestly don't know um you'll know by the title once this video is done um today's video is sponsored by Arteza they have sponsored a ton of my videos and I appreciate every single one they have sponsored I keep working with this company because they have phenomenal products I see a ton of youtubers starting to work with Arteza as well and seriously I have loved of every single product they have sent me. So today, I'm gonna show you guys what they sent me. Also, they are doing a giveaway for my subscribers, which is a very, very exciting. I will tell you all the details in a tiny, tiny bit. Um, The first thing they sent me, well, I got to choose what I wanted. So that was like super cool that I got to go through their website because they have a ton of amazing things. Um, but This is just a self-adhesive 50 sheet vinyl. It is in a mat and I absolutely love this. I've actually already opened it and started doing some DIYs with it. So that was really cool. They also have transfer tape. So if you guys are using the crickets or the silhouettes, I have a silhouette. So this is definitely coming in handy because I'm starting to use it more, which is pretty exciting. Um, the next thing that they sent me was this these eight wood slices. So if you are able to cut your own wood, this is super cool. I haven't opened these yet, so I'm gonna take these out and just to show you what they look like and this is what they look like these are awesome i have actually used their smaller ones and these are awesome i love them the quality is really nice and uh yeah so those i'm really excited i think i'm gonna do like a wood burning thing with this i might i don't know what i want to do with this one yet but i'm really excited because you can also decorate with stuff like that so super cool and one of their newer products they wanted to send me was this pouring acrylic colors so i've been looking up some tutorials online on about pouring acrylic and their paints are absolutely phenomenal if you guys don't watch my diy videos or you're like new i use their paints all the time um okay so this is what it looks like you get 32 in here so 32 paints so this is what it looks like and there's all different colors i'm definitely gonna do some like springy eastery color but it seems pretty easy you just kind of pour it's almost like the reason or risin whatever you want to call it um i've never done that either but i am super excited to try this out so like i said 32 colors and yeah so we're gonna do a little bit of acrylic pouring super cool and um so on to the giveaway so i actually got to choose um what was going to be for the giveaway and i use a lot of these indoor outdoor paints um from arteza and i thought that would be really great for anybody who crafts or does diys because everybody can use paint so here is the giveaway rules so for the giveaway you have to be subscribed to my youtube channel you also need to be subscribed to arteza's youtube channel Make sure you leave a comment on Arteza's last posted video and then leave a comment on my video as well and let me know where you are from. So all right you guys, let's get started doing some DIYs. This first DIY is really simple. I'm just using a pitcher I had in my bathroom. It kind of got water on it so it had some damage to it. So I'm just pulling this apart and then the pitcher just popped off really nicely. It looks like it was just kind of glued on there. Um, and that was really easy. And then I just used some Waverly chalk paint in white and painted the back of the board white. And once it was painted, I got on my silhouette. This is a silhouette studio and I printed this off in a vinyl. This actually vinyl piece is actually from Arteza as well. And then I am just taking some paint and this is by Arteza. I will leave the colors right here for you because I forgot to show them. But um, yeah, this was really simple and such an easy DIY to do. If you don't have a silhouette or a Cricut, I will see if I can find a free printable. You can always use free printables and just print them off and put them in older frames and they look like new decor pieces. So like I said, I always try to give you guys some different options. If you don't have a silhouette, I think my mom just appreciates just a little bit that I'm actually using this more now since I got it for Christmas in 2018. And then here is the final product. I absolutely love the way this turned out and it looks like something that would be store bought. Like. 
This next one is a Dollar Tree DIY. This only costs a dollar each to make these cute little signs. I like using Dollar Tree decor, especially little items like this, because I like the frames around the edges. So I did just rip these apart. I ended up using the back sides of them because I was having issues getting the coloring and the picture off. So I thought it would just be easy if I just used the back side. I'm using this Waverly chalk paint and ballet slipper. And I'm just using some really like nice muted tones for spring decor and Easter decor. So that is why I'm using Waverly chalk paint. So if you guys want to know why I'm not using Arteza paint, well, I just, I am, but not for everything. Also using this Waverly chalk paint in this, oh, what is it called? A cave? A gave? And uh, yeah, I'm just using it for the second one. So I'm making two of these. I'm using the vinyl and the contact paper from Arteza. And I just printed out hip and I printed out hop. And I'm just going to be adding these to this. This kind of reminds me of like the little Ray Dunn feel. I purchased the font on my Silhouette Studio. I think it was, I think I might have got that one for free actually. Because when you sign up, you get like free credits to buy whatever you want. So I've had this for a really long time. And like I said, I just haven't used it. But this was simple. This was easy. I don't know if you guys try to print out the Ray Dunn font. Or, I don't know, it's not really Ray Dunn font. I think this is called Farmhouse font is what they call it. But do you guys struggle getting this off your vinyl if you have one? I struggled really bad. I think I had to redo this twice. Um, but, yeah, this was really nice. I love the contact paper from Arteza. It's super, super nice. And it peels off, like, way easier than the other contact paper that I used. It was actually from a Cricut. Um, the Cricut contact paper, but anyways, this is way easier to use. I absolutely love this. And then just to put it back together, I just used my hot glue gun. I have a Sherbonder hot glue gun now. I absolutely love this, although I feel like it takes forever to heat up. I don't know if that's an issue or not. And for those of you who are new who don't follow me very often, normally I craft in my craft room and I like to craft right on my carpet. The next is this acrylic pouring. I had these already from Arteza, these canvases. This is a huge box that has 32 pouring acrylics. I love the colors. There's so many really pretty ones. I thought for spring and Easter, like they're really nice, like light colors of pink and purple. So I looked up some tutorials and it seems like they always use white because this did come with four whites. Um, I'm just using like a lavender, a pink, and then this like teal color. And you just dump it in a cup and there's a bunch of different techniques you can do. It's really watery paint and you can do like swirly techniques where you kind of like swirl all around the paper or your canvas or your wood or whatever you choose to use for pouring acrylics. I'm not a professional, but this is just kind of what I've seen on the tutorials. And the paint is very forgiving because you can move it all around. I do just recommend you to use more than you think you'll need because I kind of didn't have enough for this. So I kind of put some back in a cup and swirled it around some more. So mine didn't turn out as great um, as I hoped for just because I had to keep doing that. And it took a long time because like I said, I didn't use enough paint for this one. But look how it is just like moving around here. I just love the way this looks. This was really fun. And it's a really relaxing, like satisfying craft. I recommend this like pouring acrylic paint fun craft any day. I loved it. And then also I had five by seven canvases that I've never used and I let Presley help out. Like I said, this is easy. She did like a little swirly technique and I think her colors that she chose turned out way better than mine. And like I said, this was just really, really fun to do.
Once my canvas was dry, I just took this bunny. It's a little free printable. I will leave in the link in the description box and some graphite paper. And I'm just tracing it so I can get a nice outline of the rabbit. And I did end up painting it black. I feel like maybe after I painted it, I probably should have did like a teal color or something like that. I don't know. Um, I still really like the way it turned out regardless if it was black or teal or any other color, but I like the way it kind of stands out on here. And I also think this like acrylic pouring technique would be like a really cool gift idea if you put a picture in the middle with your kids or your family. This was just really fun. I definitely recommend this. This is also the outdoor paint I'm using. I know it's for indoor, but I love the way it covers. And then this burlap bow came from burlap fabric. Their link will be in the description box as well. And this is how it turned out when it was done. I love the way this looked. I love how it dried. It does take a, quite a few hours to dry. I did just let it dry overnight. But look at this canvas. It is so stinking pretty. And then this is what the other two turned out. I absolutely love these so much because you always get different designs. And like I said, this was super fun. This is probably my favorite, probably my favorite like painting craft I've ever done. And these little birdhouses were from the Dollar Tree. This is another easy $1 DIY. I just took the ballet slipper Waverly chalk paint and painted this house along with white Waverly chalk paint for the roofs. And then I just used the Waverly chalk paint in celery to paint the second birdhouse. And then I just use this vinyl again to do the farmhouse type redone slash font, whatever you guys want to call it. Um, this did not work. I don't know if I didn't know how to work my silhouette machine because I am still learning. So I did just kind of dig it in with my tool and then I just grabbed a Sharpie and kind of peeled it off and you could see the font. So I just decided to go over it with a Sharpie and that worked just as good. First I was trying to use the vinyl and then I was just trying to make it a stencil. I don't know what went wrong, but um, in the end I still love the way they turned out. In the very last DIY, I'm just using this big giant wood slice. I have a free printable along with graphite paper. This says bloom where you are planted. I thought it was super cute and I just used my graphite paper to trace it. You could kind of see it on the wood slice just fine. I wanted to use my wood burner and that just did not go so well. I did end up painting it first. The colors that I wanted, the letters to be, I used the Waverly chalk paint in celery. And I also used the Waverly chalk paint in the ballet slipper once again. Like I said, I really like these colors for spring. So that's why I decided to do a lot of my decor in. So you might see it around, you won't see white as much. You'll still see that white, don't you guys? <laughs> don't get sad about it. Waverly chalk paint in white or the white chalk paint will never go away. So I used a bunch of different tips for this wood burning technique and I am still a newbie to it, but I know that it works a lot better. I was actually really disappointed because my wood burning tool did not work very well on this wood. I probably tried for at least two hours and got almost nowhere. So I did end up quitting the wood burning technique. I went over the letters in Sharpie. You can kind of see where I did the where you are was in the wood burning and I was just really unhappy with this um, and I think it's definitely the wood. I really thought the wood was supposed to be for wood burning but it was not working out good at all and I did test my wood burner out on something else on other pieces of wood and it worked just fine so it's definitely not the wood burner. So here's another idea. You can just decorate with these which I love decorating with wood slices anyways. I think they look rustic 
and I love the way this looks and I'm starting to get my spring decor out, believe it or not, guys. Um, but I think this is a super cute setup for a centerpiece or just a corner in your kitchen or dining room or living room, wherever you want it. You guys, that's it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. I will leave a better description of that in the description box below. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.